Madam Chair. Um, colleagues, thank you, Kevin and Simon, for inviting me. As Ross has said, that uh, this is probably the only public opportunity we've had. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is the Saint Sullivan. I'm the deputy leader of the Lib Dems on the City Council. My wife said to me before I came this evening, she said, don't get political. <laughs> it's not here, and none of you are going to tell it. <laughs> it is political. That's the absolute truth. Uh, Ross has just said the meeting was a, a shambolic affair. Um, in fact, uh, the leader of my group, Peter Coley, was, uh, actually had insight slightly from Simon, thanks to Simon, uh, that this report, the draft report, had been seen by certainly Ross Wilmot and Patrick Kittrick, the uh, regeneration member of the uh, cabinet, and other members of, of the uh, Labour administration cabinet. Uh, and he's not very happy. Of course he's not happy, because the report is an independent report, and it completely refutes everything that they actually voted for in that town, uh, council meeting. I think it's a terrible shame um, that there are just a few members of the Labour administration in the cabinet who actually run the entire council. There are 38 members, and the word sheep, I forgot to mention, comes classically from there. And, 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 and uh, whilst it's funny, it's an absolute fact. Not one other member that evening of the general backbench of the Labour Party had a single word to say because they hadn't got the slightest clue. Edward took the, um, uh, the thunder away from me, but in the, uh, he, uh, he mentioned the figure of 12,000 city council uh, and county homes that are empty. We have 10,000 homes that are empty in the city. I, I, I thought, I, I really do uh, strong research. So I googled Ecotown and it said La La Land. So, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's my computer said that. I don't know. Maybe try it. I mean, it, it might work on yours as well. You know, on three occasions, the court failed to come and inform, uh, uh, give us an uh, update uh, in our group, and they haven't turned up. So, so I will. Uh, I thank you very much, everyone, for attending today. Thank you for the opportunity as well. I will inform Kevin and Simon when we will have uh, one of the meetings in Stonegate, and I would certainly welcome all members of the public here and friends to join us as well. Thank you. Good evening.